PYQT is a Python binding of the cross-platform GUI toolkit QT. It is one of Python's options for GUI programming. Popular alternatives are PYSide, PYGTK, WXPython, and Kinta. Like QT, PYQT is free software. PYQT is implemented as a Python plugin. PYQT is developed by the British firm Riverbank Computing. It is available under similar terms to QT versions older than 4.5. This means a variety of licenses including GNU General Public License and Commercial License, but not the GNU Lesser General Public License. PYQT supports Microsoft Windows as well as various flavors of Unix, including Linux and OS X. PYQT implements around 440 classes and over 6,000 functions and methods including, a substantial set of GUI widgets, classes for accessing SQL databases, Xntilla, Xntilla-based rich text editor widget, data-aware widgets that are automatically populated from a database, an XML parser, SVG support, classes for embedding ActiveX controls on Windows, to automatically generate these bindings, Phil Thompson developed the tool SIP, which is also used in other projects. In August 2009, Nokia, the then owners of the Qt toolkit, released PYSide, providing similar functionality, but under the old GPL, after failing to reach an agreement with Riverbank Computing to change its licensing terms to include LGPL as an alternative license. PYQT Main Components PYQT4 contains the following Python modules. The Qt Core module contains the core non-GUI classes, including the event loop and Qt's signal and slot mechanism. It also includes platform-independent abstractions for Unicode, threads, mapped files, shared memory, regular expressions, and user and application settings. The Qt GUI module contains the majority of the GUI classes. These include a number of table, tree and list classes based on the Modella Euro Viewer Euro Controller design pattern. Also provided is a sophisticated 2D canvas widget capable of storing thousands of items including ordinary widgets. The Qt Network module contains classes for writing UDP and TCP clients and servers. It includes classes that implement FTP and HTTP clients and support DNS lookups. Network events are integrated with the event loop making it very easy to develop networked applications. The Qt OpenGL module contains classes that enable the use of OpenGL in rendering 3D graphics in PYQt applications. The Qt SQL module contains classes that integrate with open source and proprietary SQL databases. It includes editable data models for database tables that can be used with GUI classes. It also includes an implementation of SQLITE. The Qt SVG module contains classes for displaying the contents of SVG files. It supports the static features of SVG 1.2 Tiny. The Qt XML module implements SAX and DOM interfaces to Qt's XML parser. The Qt multimedia module implements low-level multimedia functionality. Application developers would normally use the Phonon module. The Qt Designer module contains classes that allow Qt Designer to be extended using PYQt. The Qt module consolidates the classes contained in all of the modules described above into a single module. This is the advantage that you don't have to worry about which underlying module contains a particular class. It is the disadvantage that it loads the whole of the Qt framework thereby increasing the memory footprint of an application. Whether you use this consolidated module, or the individual component modules is down to personal taste. The WIC module implements support for handling the XML files created by a Qt designer that describe the whole or part of a graphical user interface. It includes classes that load an XML file and render it directly, and classes that generate Python code from an XML file for later execution. Versions, PYQT version 4 works with both QT4 and QT5. PYQT version 5 only supports QT version 5, and drops support for features that are deprecated in QT5. Hello World example, 
the below code shows a small window on the screen. Notable applications that use PYQT, Enki, a spaced repetition flashcard program, Dropbox, a file hosting service, Eric Python IDE, Kados, Python Regular Expression Debugger, Orange, a data mining and visualization framework, Qt Record My Desktop, Qt4 Front End for Record My Desktop, QGIS, a free software desktop geographic information systems application, Views, a scientific plotting application, Spider, a lightweight Python IDE, Leo, an outliner and literate programming editor, Ninja IDE, an extensible open source Python IDE, Calibre, an ebook management application, Pudlitag, an open source, cross platform ID3 tag editor, Tortoise HG, a graphical interface for the Mercurial Source Management Program. See also Pythonct, PySide, PYGTK, WX Python, Tkinter. References Further reading, Summerfield, Mark, Rapid GUI Programming with Python and Qt, Prentice Hall, pages 648, ISBN 978-0-13-235418-9, -9, Rimped, Bowduage, GUI Programming with Python, Qt Edition, Open Docs. External links, Official Website, PYQT and Pict Community Wiki, PYQT 4 Tutorial Series, Tutorials, Tutorial.